lipstick review for you today. <clears throat> um, I have 11 lipsticks that I have within my collection that I find that I grab more often than let's say my MAC lipstick. Um, I do find the Revlon lipsticks very comparable to MAC lipsticks. Um, the reason is being is because they're um, very rich with color. They definitely go on and last for a long time. Their MAC colors actually are very comparable to the MAC colors too. So um, I'm going to get right into that. The first four colors are matte. And you can tell that they're MAC colors just because of their packaging that they have on them. The packaging of the matte lipsticks by Revlon are very matte. There's like no sheer on the outside. And what I like about the MAC colors too is... Um, what I've noticed is that you can actually see the colors up top and they also plant the colors underneath there too. So the first shade here that I'm going to show you and also swatch for you is a matte silky pink and the number is 012 and that's the color. And that's a swatch of it. So it has really nice pigmentation on it. Very soft too. The next shade is called Nude Attitude and the number is 001. And that's a complete nude. If you really want to like white out your lips if you have fair skin this is the way to go. <laughs> I don't wear this often because it is very nude. But if you're looking for that dominant nude matte color, 001 Nude Attitude is a great color by Revlon. This next nude shade is called Pink Pout. The number is 002. This is a really nice color. This one goes on really nice. I have to say this is one of my favorite matte ones by them. So that's that color. And then the last matte shade here that I have is 010 called Wine Knot. This is a brownish red color. I don't normally wear this color because it's so dark, but if I want to be daring and have a bold lip with a light like um, eyeshadow, I mean I definitely can't wear this color with the eyeshadow that I have on today, but um, if you're going with like a nice neutral eye, this is the way to go then. Um, so I said this is 010, why not? And you can just see by the coloring of the bottom that it's going to be very like crazy. But yeah, that's, that's the color definitely looks like a wine color. And that's the swatch of it. I absolutely love this shade. Not a lot of people can pull this shade off, but if you can and you're daring, why not? Okay, so the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different shades are, actually wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Seven different shades are different formulas, but more like a gloss. So this next one here is a pearl, and the color is Caramel Glaze. The number is 103, and the packaging is more like shiny on the outside opposed to the matte lipsticks. You can see the difference between them. And they'll say on the bottom too what kind of formula they are. And this is the color. This 
one's a kind of really sheer. It's very light on the lips. As opposed to the matte, obviously. This next shade is a pearl as well. It's called Iced Amethyst. The number is 625. So this is a nice plum color. Very dark too. But I think it looks nice with my complexion in the winter time. Very fair in the winter. That's the color there. As you can see in the lighting, it's very glossy. Definitely has a pearl finish to it, like it says it does. Um, the next shade here, kind of in the pearl family. family but this is actually a cream. This one is Sassy Mauve. I wore this in my last video, actually. And the number is 463. So it's Sassy Mauve. And this color, definitely a mauve color. Rosy. Very pretty. For my complexion, this I'd say this is kind of a, like a natural color to me. Kind of goes with my lips the color right there and the um, finish on this like I said is a cream these are really really moisturizing for your lips as well I don't find these drying as opposed to obviously the matte colors so you don't need a gloss with these ones the next shade here is raspberry freeze number 483 and this is a pearl as well darker. Definitely a raspberry color. Like it says the name. Let's watch that for you. In the um, fall and winter time, I definitely tend to wear raspberry colors. So most of the list, these lipsticks are from last fall and winter. There's a swatch of it. A little bit like Sassy Mauve, but you can tell there's a difference there. The next shade is a cream and it's called Mauve Night, number 473. Another nice mauve dark color. That is the swatch right there. As you can see, I have a lot of the same colors going on right here. I definitely enjoy my mauve rose colors in the winter and, <clears throat> and fall. Like I said, the, the creams are really moisturizing for your lips. You, you don't feel <clears throat> like they are drying out your lips. The next color here is something that I usually don't grab. Um, but it's nice to have in my collection. This one is Demure. It's a cream, and the number is 683. I don't know if I said this right, but I'm going to show you anyways. And you guys can figure it out yourselves. This color is a little bit pinkish with orange type of a pearl in it. I don't know if you can see the orange in that, but there definitely is some kind of orange to it. And it's that color right there. It's very different. Like I said, I really don't grab this color often because it is different. And the last lipstick here that I have from Revlon is one of my favorites actually. This one is also a cream, number 440, and this shade has been around for a long time. This one is Cherries in the Snow, and Michelle, uh, Michelle, Michelle 1218, she actually demonstrated this color last fall or winter, and as soon as I saw her wearing it, I had to run out and get it. So, this is the number Cherries in the Snow. 
very very pretty and this is the color it really goes nice with my blue eyes I really enjoy that and the color on this is amazing I don't have to like run over the color over and over again and that's the shade right there So that is the lipsticks that I wanted to show you from Revlon. I actually find my Revlon lipsticks a little bit cheaper at Walmart. They're like $4 and change there as opposed to if you go to CVS or Rite Aid or Walgreens. They're, I think, around $6. So there is a, like a $2 difference between them. So I usually pick them up there. I do plan on buying some more. I do enjoy them as well as my MAC lipsticks. And like I said, I do find some of the colors that are very dupable from my MAC, my MAC um, lipsticks as far as the Revlon. Um, also that I wanted to share with you before I go is what I'm wearing on my nails. I actually got this idea off of Pinterest. If you guys don't have Pinterest, check it out. It's amazing. It's very addicting. Um, and if you do have one, follow me. I'll put my link down below and you can follow me. I have over like 2,000 pins and I have like 20 different boards so I have a lot to look at if you guys are interested from makeup to makeup that I actually own like within my collection I pin on there too so you guys can see what I have. Um, hair ideas, wedding ideas, fashion. Um, just all sorts of different things that I have on there but I got this idea like I said off of Pinterest and the two shades that I found in my collection that I could pull this off was bubble bath by OPI so this was my base I did two coats of this this is bubble bath this one you could find anywhere it's not limited edition and then the other shade that I actually showed you in my last birthday haul was Hallucinate by Wet n Wild and I got this at Rite Aid for 69 cents. And that's just the shimmer that's over it. Yeah. So that is about it. Um, these are all the shades that I wanted to show you. Really nice variety. I like to change it up every now and then. Um, and also with my eyes today, I am actually wearing the number 75 Makeup Forever Neon Pink on my eyes. So I worked with that today. I actually really like it. I'm enjoying the color. It's amazing. $20 for it. I don't care. I will pay whatever it is for their eyeshadows. I absolutely love them. Um, also, like within the crease area, I use like a dark color. A black from my... Um, Coastal Scents. I use the black color for my Coastal Scents palette, the matte palette. So that is about it everybody and I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun showing you guys my Revlon lipsticks and I plan on buying some more. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.